Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Little Bumble Bears Read Along. I'm Kristen, and I'm back with another book for you all from the Let's Talk About series. This one is called Let's Talk About Complaining by Joy Berry, illustrated by John Costanza. Let's talk about complaining. I'm glad you're going to spend the night. Is this your bedroom? It sure is small. When people are not pleased with something and say so, they are complaining. To complain is to say that something is wrong. It is finding fault with something. Ugh, I hate this kind of food. Is this all there is to eat? When you are around a person who complains a lot, how do you feel? What do you think? What do you do? Tell him to go away, he's a brat. She sure complains a lot. When you are around a person who complains a lot, you may feel unhappy and disappointed. You may begin to think that the person is not fun to be with. You may decide that you do not want to be around the person. I sure am glad she's gone. I'll never invite her to my house again. It is important to treat other people the way you want to be treated. If you do not want people to complain a lot around you, you must not complain a lot around them. Why don't you invite Michelle over to play? Michelle complains too much. I hope I never complain as much as she does. Too much complaining can bother the people around you. It can hurt you as well. Too much complaining can make you feel badly. This is because complaining causes you to think about the bad instead of good things around you. There's nothing to do around this house. We have only one TV. We don't have any good games. Thinking about the bad things around you can put you in a bad mood. Why are you in such a bad mood? When you are in a bad mood, you will be unhappy and most likely have a bad day. You may also say or do things that would possibly hurt you or other people. I hate living here. It's boring and so are you. Thus, complaining can be harmful to you and to others. This does not mean that you should not say anything when something is really wrong. Once in a while, it may be necessary for you to complain. You have no right to break my toys! Think before you complain. Complain only if your complaint will help to change something that needs to be changed. If things cannot be changed, accept them the way they are and do not complain. I'm telling Dad, he will make sure that you don't get into my things again. When you must complain, do it kindly. Try not to shout or to throw a tantrum. Jason got into my things again. Look at what he did. When you complain, try to suggest things that could be done to solve the problem. Could we put a lock on my bedroom door so that Jason can't get into my bedroom? Once you are sure that your complaint is understood, listen to what the other person has to say. If he or she shows you that your complaint is not fair, drop it. If he or she suggests a good solution to the problem, follow it. I don't think a lock is necessary. If you will make sure that your things are put away in your room, I will make sure that Jason doesn't go into it. Okay, try to think about the good instead of the bad things around you. Enjoy and talk about them. Sometimes you can be a pain, but most of the time, you're a pretty neat kid. The less you complain, the more you and the people around you will be happy and enjoy life. Remember, complaining can put you in a bad mood and ruin your day. Unless it's absolutely necessary to complain, don't think about the bad things that you don't have or can't do. Be thankful for everything that you have because everything is a gift, including life itself. And when you think about all the things you have and all the things you're grateful for, you'll notice that you have a really great mood and you'll have a wonderful day. Well, until the next read-along, God bless. Remember, you are special and loved. You are never alone, and you're always welcome to come back and hear this read-along anytime. Until the next video, I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye, everyone.